Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this beautiful plant called as the Anthorium. Now, Anthorium is a genus of around 1000 plus perennial plants which are native to the Central America, Northern South America and the Caribbeans. Now, while these plants are grown mostly outdoor, especially people who are from a very warm environment, Anthoriums can also be grown indoor and are more often grown in greenhouses as well. Now guys, the only issue with this plant is that it is a very slow growing plant. Again, it all depends upon how much of light it gets and what are the environmental conditions that are being provided to the plant. According to that, the plant tends to grow. For some people, it might grow very fast if the environment is very appropriate for the plant. Now, these plants are also called as the flamingo flowers for their unique tropical shape and bright red, green and white colors. They come in absolutely beautiful colors. There are a lot of different colors. I have the red one. And the best thing is that they constantly bloom for a long period of time throughout the year. Uh, usually these flowers that you see, the red one, they tend to last for a month, even for two months as well, if proper conditions have been given. Now, most of the anthoriums are climbers. They require a high amount of humidity and warmth in order to thrive. Basically, a very tropical environment. Let's talk about a little bit in detail. Now, the common names are anthoriums, tail flower, flamingo flower, lace leaf. A lot of different common names have been given. It is from the family of Araceae. It is a perennial plant. The mature size can grow anywhere from 12 to 18 inches tall and 9 to 12 inch wide. If we are going to be talking about the pH level of soil, acidic soil is something that is going to work out really well bloom time as i said it tends to bloom throughout the year so whether it's spring summer fall winter it will bloom there is no issue with that now let's talk in detail about the care tips or the care requirements that are needed for this plant starting off with light indoor or outdoor as i said you can grow it both ways anthuriums like a little bit of sun but not too much if you're going to offer too much of sunlight the flowers the leaves everything will get burnt so especially afternoon direct sunlight try to refrain that you can either give filtered light you can either keep it under the green shade cloth or you can place it anywhere where it receives a good amount of indirect bright light probably early morning before 10 a.m 9 a.m direct sunlight is okay but after that please don't expose it to direct sunlight otherwise the plant will get burnt as i said this plant will also do quite well in less light as well indoors as well but if you're going to keep it in indirect bright light the plant will perform much better talking about the soil mix anthoriums prefer a very chorus well draining potting mix a lot of people also tend to use orchid mix as well for this plant i generally go with the basic soil mix which is a mix of coco peat garden soil sand and perlite they require a very loose porous well draining soil mix the soil has to be well draining if the soil is going to stay soggy wet then there is going to be a root rot so that is something that we need to keep in mind now talking about watering the soil should be kept slightly moist evenly moist but not soggy wet never let the soil dry out completely if you want you can go with the tray method as well set the pot in a tray with rocks or gravel that has water the plants water will drain out into that tray and help keep the humidity levels higher around the plant allow the top level of the soil to dry out uh, wherever you touch the soil if you feel that the upper layer of soil is dry go ahead and do a complete watering until the water starts passing through now indoors it all depends uh, what kind of soil mix you have and what kind of environment you have because uh, uh, this is something that i leave up to you because indoor i haven't grown plants indoor all of my plants are outdoor and whenever i see that the upper layer of soil is dry i go ahead and do a watering but when you tend to grow your plants indoor you need to be a little bit more careful because the soil tends to take a little bit longer time for it to dry now talking about temperature and humidity, this is something very important because all the species of anthoriums are native to tropical environment or climate. These are tropical plants. So mimicking those conditions will give you the best chance of success. This plant prefers a high amount of humidity and a temperature anywhere between let's say 17 degrees Celsius up to 34 degrees Celsius is going to work out really well. In dry climates or if you are from a place wherein the environment is very dry or the winters are very dry, then I would suggest is miss the plant daily to keep the humidity levels high. Try to club as much plants uh, around it if you're growing it outdoor. Indoor, of course, you can use a humidifier. Now, I would suggest uh, during the afternoons, you can do one or two light misting. That is going to work out really well. Now, talking about fertilizers, this plant does not go into dormancy. It tends to bloom throughout the year, especially if you are from a very tropical environment, then this is going to be much easy for you. It's going to bloom throughout the year. So you can go with any liquid based fertilizer or organic fertilizer. If you want, you can use vermicompost, compost, but always ensure uh, use it in a moderate uh, 
you know quantity don't go excess with it otherwise that will burn the plant i go with compost tea and i do it once a month uh, if you tend to see a lot of blooming happening on the plant then increase the amount of uh, fertilizers liquid fertilizer is one of the best form of fertilizer because that tends to get absorbed into the soil and it gets absorbed by the plant much faster as compared to solid fertilizers like compost wormy compost and uh, other organic material that you tend to use so you can use any one of them now talking about pest issues yes this plant does get affected with spider mites mealybugs scale insects so always do a visual check probably once in uh, two or three weeks and that is going to work out really well uh, as soon as you see even one of the insect try to tackle the issue at the early stage don't let it reach into an infestation otherwise that is going to be a little difficult to overcome the problem now talking about propagation it's very easy to propagate your anthurium so you will start noticing a lot of aerial roots as i said this is a climbing plant so the moment you see uh, aerial roots you can just do a stem cutting or you can separate it via root division because it also tends to put out a lot of offshoots so it's pretty simple as and when this plant is going to be ready for dividing i will definitely make a video on it as of now i don't see uh, any progress of it putting out another shoot so whenever that happens i will definitely keep you guys updated now talking about is this plant toxic yes this plant is toxic to humans as well as pets especially if the leaves are ingested so ensure you're keeping this plant away from the reach of small children and pets other than that it's a very very easy to grow plant all you have to do is just give the basic care which we have spoken in this video uh, the only thing that i would say is do not give it a lot of direct sunlight the leaves will start to get burnt excess amount of fertilizers will again burn the leaves so anything that you do do it in uh, moderation and that is going to work out really well uh, i am planning to get another anthurium which is pink in color because i really love that so as and when that comes in i will definitely uh, show you that plant as well right Right now it's just the red one that i have and as i said the flowers will stay for a very long time and it's the one of the best plant that you can add especially if you are into flowers that tend to last for a really long time also guys if you want to watch the video of how large these plants tend to grow i will put the link in the description below you can check it out because i did have very large anthuriums in my previous house unfortunately i could not carry them here because the pots were very huge so i gave it off to my neighbors but you will get a fair idea of how large these plants can get i'll put the link in the description below so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating